Now, just like we did in example two, um, we can also evaluate functions for numbers and variables and expressions. So if we look at example three, we're not just plugging in a three or a negative four, we're gonna actually plug in a three C minus four. So it's done similarly, similarly, similar, 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 similarly. And what you're gonna have to do is you just plug in your 3c minus 4 everywhere there's an x so we say f of 3c minus 4 however it takes a little bit more work which I know you guys are so excited to do and it takes a little more careful manipulation of your expression so we had to plug in a 3c minus 4. Now a common error that some of you like to do is just square the 3c and just square the 4. No, 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 no. What you must do is you have to take 3c minus 4 times 3c minus 4 twice. And then we're going to go ahead and distribute like we usually do. So do not just square the 3C and your 4. You have to write it out twice, so we're going to have to FOIL. So we're going to take 3C times a 3C, which is a 9C squared. 3C times a negative 4, which is a negative 12C. Negative 4 times a 3C, which is a negative 12C. Plus 16, because we get negative 4 Seven times nine. negative 4. What? And then we're going to take, now we're going to multiply over here. 2 times a 3c is a 6c. 2 times a negative 4 is a negative 8 minus 3. So what we can do is we can clean this up a little bit. So all your c squareds, you just have a 9c squared. So we're done adding that. You have a negative 12c and a negative 12c, so that's a negative 24c plus 6c gives you a negative 18c. C. And then 16 minus 8 is 8. 8 minus 3 is a 5. So you do not have to factor this. You do not set it equal to 0. Once you get it to this point, you have simplified your function. Just doing a little bit more work. So just make sure you are very careful when you are doing this part of the problem. Write it out twice. Now for B, this is a little more difficult because notice you have a 2 times K of 4C. So this is done a little bit differently but there's only one big catch, okay? You have this two outside, but we're gonna not worry about the two until the very end. So what we're first gonna find is our k of 4c for this function right here. So everywhere there is an x, we're gonna take that out and in its place, we're gonna put a 4c. So this x, we're gonna put in a 4c as well, minus one. So we simplify, now this is gonna be a two times. Now you have to simplify this first, or you have to Take 4c squared first, that's going to be a 16c squared minus 4c minus 1. And we end up getting a 32c squared minus 4c minus 1. That is what your k of 4c is equal to. Now we're not totally done yet because we have to remember our 2 out front. So all you're doing is you're just going to take this expression if you multiply this by 2, that means you're going to have to multiply this by 2. Well, that's not too bad. 2 times a 32 is just a 64c squared. 2 times a negative 4c is negative 8c. And 2 times a negative 1 is a negative 2. There, you have simplified one of the toughest functions you will ever see in your life. I hope you enjoyed it.